What's up you guys? Welcome back to Adorable American Girl. In today's video, I will be sewing my new girl dear Joss a new outfit and showing you guys all the cute things that I have made for her room so far. I am so excited. All right, here we go. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Adorable American Girl. So right now I am making my Joss and Megan some outfits that are more like visco themed. I really miss them not having clothes. I just picked up my camera and decided that I wanted to go ahead and vlog something showing you guys what I'm doing. So I am getting ready to make a long sleeve Urban Outfitters inspired butterfly shirt. So here is the graphic that I made a while ago. I already cut it out and I am getting ready to finish sewing this um, shirt, um, long sleeve shirt. And then I'm going to make some really adorable pants. Oh, I really love this pattern. I just feel like these colors like blue and orange look so good together. Um, so this is going to be a super cute outfit. I'm not exactly sure who's going to get it first. I am so hungry. I actually have dinner in the oven right now, so I don't know how far I'll get on this outfit, but it really shouldn't take me that long because I really, it really shouldn't take me that long because I have been sewing so many doll clothes, hoping that I'm getting faster. But anyway, not sure which vlog this is going to be thrown into. I've just been getting footage all over the place. So, yep, I'm gonna finish the shirt and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. <laughs> All right, so this is what the shirt looks like so far before I put the graphic on. Um, I added some really cute stitching um, in detail. I'm thinking about doing a video showing you guys some tips and tricks when making doll clothes because there are some things that I've definitely learned along the way to make your shirts look more realistic. So I'm going to cut the shirt and hem it to about here. And then I'm going to go ahead and iron on the decal probably about right there super cute Megan is just so so pretty like I can't get over her I love Joss but Megan I definitely copied off of Dina and Bina's Jordan but she is just like she's the new pepper so get used to seeing her guys she's gorgeous isn't she this is her outfit Joss's outfit that I came up with This outfit is super, super cute. I need to make Megan an outfit. She has been stripped of this. My family is loud as always. What's up you guys? I have filmed about three videos, but I haven't posted anything because I was really trying to get the space for Joss together. If you guys would like a room setup of this space, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Otherwise, I am just going to show you guys what I did to create a space for her. Now, I only own one of Joss's accessories. I don't own anything else. But as you guys know, I always create everything that I pretty much have for my dolls. I do wanna get a couple more things from Joss's collection because I really, really adore it. As far as building her a room and all of that, I really wanted to create something unique for her. If you don't know already, I do own an Etsy shop where I sell lots of adorable doll stuff. Um, so if you would like to be a part of my release or if you're interested in purchasing anything that I've made, make sure to follow me on my Instagram and that is at adorable doll stuff on Insta. Instagram. so I don't know why I said Insta anyway um so yeah just a casual walkthrough of some of the things that I've made this is my dollhouse a lot of people always ask me about what kind of dollhouse this is this is the my girls dollhouse but um we just took the walls out so it opens it up to have more space and yeah so I'm gonna show you guys over here first this is my second time creating a bedding set for her because the first time I did it I just really 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 didn't like it you guys I didn't like it at all and so I just changed everything <laughs> I'm probably gonna still sell the things that I made 
that I don't like because I'm sure someone in the world will really like them. A lot of people told me they like them, but I just went with a different vision for her. So first and foremost, this is my Joss. She was kind of like hanging up against the wall. Oh, you know what? I need to get that light that I had. Let me get it. Okay, so much better. I just had to get my light. All right, so this is my Joss for those of you who may not have seen her yet. Here she is, isn't she so cute? I put her hair in this like um, super cute top knot at the top and she has freckles if my camera will focus. They're really faint and subtle. I just feel like freckles do look super cute on her. I got this idea from American Girl Ashlyn on Instagram. I love her um, Instagram. And when so if you follow American Girl Ashlyn on Instagram, she will show you in one of her stories how to create freckles. And so um, I definitely copied her on that. And they're super, super cute and they're very fitting. And I also always put gloss on all my doll's lips. I do that with nail polish. Just know that if you do it, um unless you steam your doll's head for an eye replacement that is going to be stuck on their lips you can't use nail polish remover to get off so just fyi but anyway so this is joss's outfit that i've made her and i am going to be opening a pre-order for this outfit i have um a couple more outfits in mind but i'm going to do something different this time and just open a pre-order so it's this really cute visco let me move her little hairs back. <laughs> it's this really cute visco looking top that's kind of cut off and these really adorable striped jeans. But now Joss wants to show you guys her room space. Isn't it so, 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 so darling? I got a lot of inspiration off of Pinterest because visco is kind of the theme of Joss. Um, I don't know if American Girl did that on purpose or if they just um wanted to do a surfer girl but surfer girls definitely fall into the visco beachy vibe so i created a room based around that so first thing i created that will be for sale in my etsy shop is this really adorable macrame i love that one so so much i will probably only have like a couple of these i got these from target a while ago maybe last year sometime during valentine's day or right after or right before and I took all the drawers out and stacked them to make this really cute shelving unit. And this grid that has some of my favorite Instagram pics of Joss on it. I got that from Five Below. They still sell them. They just have them like on the sides of the aisle. So you have to look for them. And it's only $3, but it's just a mini grid. And I love these. I have these all over my house with um, Polaroids on them. I just think they're super cute decor items. Another thing that will be for sale in my Etsy shop is this J that I made that has um, that's encrusted with this really sparkly glitter. It's like chunky confetti glitter. It's really, really pretty. And it's still falling off because I didn't shake all the excess glitter off of it. I just kind of made it. Who doesn't love a little extra glitter? So what else? It's like super cute. And yeah, I need to finish like shaking the rest off of it. But I was waiting for it to dry. So super pretty. J. I was going to do J-O-S-S. -S, but I was, I don't know. I had a different idea for the wall as you can see here. So these are what they call posters on Pinterest being a collection of ones that I felt like applied to Joss. So yeah, I probably will be selling these on my shop for about $3 and they will be pre-cut and they will come with the stickers on the back. These are made out of cardstock, so it's really, really thick paper. Um, and they will stick really well to your walls with the stickies that I provide. If you've ever bought a can canvas from me, then you know that I always provide you with something to put it on the wall with, so you don't have to worry about that. So this is the bedding that I finally came up with. And of course, it would not be complete without a VW pillow. And I put a little confetti glitter right there just to add a little shine since she is a cheerleader and cheerleaders usually like a little glitter here and there 
this, I always do real working pillowcases so you can take the pillow out if that's something that you desire to do. But I like to keep them in. And this pillow has lots of different colors in it. I tried to hit her collection, her collection colors. I tried to go with more of a blue theme for her bedding because everyone always does pink and I just put a lot of different textures and patterns together because honestly, that's usually what you see. If you, even if you look in like, oops, a VW van on Pinterest, you'll see lots of textures and patterns and things like that. So I thought this came together really well. And like I said, all of this will be listed on my Etsy and I will be notifying you guys once everything goes live. You just need to really make sure you're paying attention to my Instagram so that you do not miss the release. Okay, and then this is the last room over here. One thing I really wanted to do was put some stars on the wall as wallpaper. So I did wallpaper the walls. I found this really nice star print which is super vibey, it's super cute. And then I just put some pillows. I made all of them, but some of them I designed in Photoshop is this one. If you like the Visco trend, then you'll know exactly what this pillow means. If you don't, this is just a Visco saying, sk, 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 and I, oop, okay, that's how it goes. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but it's just a part of the trend. So if you, all right, Visco girl, then you may need this pillow, pillow for your doll if your Joss is a Visco girl. And then I just made this pillow that says cheer and all the other pillows I made, but they're just pretty simple. And then this seashell um, mobile thingy, I made a really long time ago and I attached some lights. Oh, one other thing I did find, if you guys are interested, um, is this rug for her room which is kind of like a beachy vibes rug but um i got this from hobby lobby if anybody is interested i love using placemats all the placemats look like real rugs these days so it's perfect so those are all the things that i've made for my joss so far i would love to know what you guys think down in the comments below I do plan, like I said, to get a couple more things from her collection, especially her cheer outfit. I think that'll look really cute in here on a mannequin. And I really want her surfboard because I just feel like that needs to lean up against the wall somewhere. Like she has to have that. So lots of other things that I want to get. Um, I will also be selling this bedding set, which is a lot more simple, but it's just, again, going with the Visco vibe. And um, I probably will be selling this canvas. This is a real canvas um, with this photo on there. It just has butterfly. Oop. Megan's room is struggling a little bit because I, of course, am always redesigning the dollhouse. But that's what this bedding looks like. So I will be selling some copies of this one too. A lot more simple and romantic looking. So I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are and i think that's it tonight is movie night me and my family actually are getting ready to go out to dinner so i'm really excited we actually never really do that hope you guys are having a good friday night i just took that light out to put here on my tripod so we can have more light and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye